Hey everybody. Hello. I am up at 7.43 in the morning. I got my baby girl out to school. It is cold, but not as cold as it has been. There's nothing, uh, nothing is frozen outside. I just had to look out the window again, even though I just came in off the porch. It's not as cold as it has been. It feels like it's a good uh, 35, about 35 degrees. Yep. So nothing is frozen out there. Um, and I've got dinner on. It's just about done. I picked some greens. So I have kale, mustard greens, and turnip greens. And that's what I like. I mix them and I cook them together. I don't like collard greens. I just don't. I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody has the best collard green recipe in the world. Whatever. I don't like collard greens. Not my grandma's greens, not my mother's greens, not my cousin's greens, not your greens. I don't like collard greens. Keep your recipe. Okay. I don't like collard greens at all. I don't, I just don't care for them. I, I don't. Um, I don't like them. So that's that. Anyway. I have some kale, mustard, and turnip. I have picked the stems off of them, soaked them, washed them, shook them around, did my second water, tore them up, washed them again, all that good stuff. And they're cooked, they're done. So I'm making smoked turkey wings, mixed greens, and candied sweet potatoes. Now, since dinner's almost about done, I'm going to attempt to make a biscuit. Well, biscuits. Now, um, got a secret to tell you. I'm an excellent cook. There's nobody under the sun who can do anything you can out with me. And when it comes to baking, that is my specialty. I can't make biscuits. I have followed recipes, I found my errors, and all of that, but I can't make biscuits. And I will tell you what happened the last time I did try. I made some biscuits, and they were beautiful. They looked like they could go in a magazine. They were beautiful. And they were bricks. And... I had this uh, wire basket and I had a red and white checkered cloth and I lined the basket with the cloth and I piled all those biscuits in that basket and set it up on the table I was going to trick somebody, break them and um, I forgot about them, you know, well, well, you know, we had our laugh and everything and I forgot to get rid of them. And they sat there, and I'm telling you, they were perfect. They never went bad. They just, so I left them. They, they became a display. They became a display. I have seen people purchase things like biscuits and uh, danishes and baked goods and put them on display. But, but I, I'm talking about artificial. They, they're not real. They just look like they're real. And you use them in a setting. And we used to do it as well when we would stage, um, stage the kitchens for the units that we would lease out or rent out. We would stage our kitchen with things like that. And I didn't have to pay anything for it. it cost me a few pennies from the bag of flour that I already had, right? <laughs> I had those biscuits for about five or six years. And when I was moving from one house to another, I remember dropping one and it broke in half. Okay? Didn't leave crumbs. <laughs> Just broke in half. I'm telling you, bricks. 
and I threw that one away and I still tried to use the, the, the display but it just wasn't the same anymore. It needed that amount to pile perfectly the way that I had them stacked and I said it's time to get rid of them but I'm telling you they never turned, they never molded, uh, no, no flies, gnats, mosquitoes, nothing, ants, nothing ever came. <laughs> so that's it. But they look, they look beautiful. They made you want to sink your teeth into one. They looked like they came fresh out of the oven, and all they needed was a little pat of butter on top. You didn't want to split them. They were just so perfect. You just wanted to put one on, a little pat of butter on top, and watch it glide and melt down the side. I can't make this. I don't know what it is. I have found, like I said, I found a couple of errors that I had. I corrected those, but they don't come out the way they're supposed to be. And when that happened to me, I was done. I don't care. I was done. And I can make all kinds of dough and I can make bread. But that biscuit recipe just won't roll. <laughs> no pun intended. It won't. I even followed the recipe off of the bag of this woman told me to use white lily. I followed the recipe off the bag. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Is it my water supply? <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't know what it is. Can't do it. I have checked the temperature on my or, or on the the shortening that I use because I've I've tried to do it with butter. I've tried shortening oil, margarine. I've tried every fat that there was. Um, room temperature is a no no. You're supposed to use everything as cold as possible. Cold buttermilk. Cold shortening. It, it it made no difference. They roll out pretty. They feel the, of the consistency that they should be. They rise. I don't overcook them. I don't know what it is. I don't know unless you have to get it. But I don't know. Somebody put cement in my bag. In my bag. Nobody says, I don't know what the hell it is, but I'm going to attempt to do it today. Because I'm feeling back to myself and I got stuff on the roll. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take down my tree too. I'm feeling like I got enough energy now and I can get some things done. So like I said, when it's about done, I'm going to attempt this biscuit dough. I'm going to take down this tree and we'll make some more videos. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And I will probably be popping in and out from time to time. So, that's it. So, that's what we're having for dinner. And that's my plans for the day. I'm going to keep it small right now. So, right now, it's to make biscuits and take down the tree. And get those two things done, then I'll move on to something else if I feel up to it. Right now I feel like I can do all kinds of things because I just want to make sure I'm not going to overdo myself today. So I will see you guys later. strange car. <laughs> so anyway, um, talk to you guys later. Bye.